Hello and welcome everyone into another big giveaway video right before the new year comes in. I'll be giving out 100 Kraken Indras to random winners. Participation is simple as always. Subscribe then fill out the Google form link in description box. There are no giveaway codes here so we roll out with the old way of picking winners. Giveaway lasts around 10 days and I'll make sure to put a timer in description box so you know when it ends. A quick note for those that try to cheat the giveaway system. Those that enter the giveaway form with multiple email accounts to unrightfully increase their chances of winning will get permanently banned from this and all future giveaways on my and other mentor channels, so beware of that. It's very easy for me to spot those IDs and get them banned. Alright, as always, I'll present you a quick starting guide to help you build your Kraken Indra. First things first. This is how I usually set it up in terms of modules and pilot skills. As you can tell I'm more inclined towards increasing the total damage output than the overall HP and defense system. I particularly like using the damage increase version with mid to long range weapons because you have the capability of staying out of frontal zone and avoid many incoming damage. This tactical advantage of long range weapons should allow you to set up the Indra for damage so it can deliver as much of it as possible. On the other hand we have the defensive version. Now you can make some changes here based on what you have ready in your inventory and that's the good thing about Indra. Unlike Luchador for example which has one specific way of building it, Indra is more versatile in terms of weapons, module and pilot skill selection. Now when it comes to the defensive version I like using it with short range weapons. Since you are exposed to a lot of fire in the front lines the best idea here is to neutralize it by having a lot of HP and defense points. Mastering the abilities of Indra also plays a big role in its survivability. With masterful play in the right hands Indra can become a very hard titan to deal with. The biggest threat here is Newton which can be dealt with the right usage of Vipassana. As to which setups I recommend the most. For long range combos with the damage increase version I recommend Dazzler and Lantern as the third on the list if you don't have the newer weapons. It can quickly blind enemies while in distance and fill out the orbital support relatively fast. But if you can go for the newer weapons I would ignore this recommendation completely. The second would be Tonans and Folger. This set is mostly helpful for dealing with mutants and other titans but not that great for regular robots especially tanks like Ochakochi. The first and best setup would be the new Titan Bandit Bullets. With 600 meter range it is perfect for countering any regular robot or titan while you are safely positioned in a good spot with your abilities ready to use in case of danger. Newtons can still be tricky to counter but with the right usage of abilities they can also go down with the setup. Short range setups can be hard and require more careful play in current meta. What I'd like to recommend in order from 3rd to 1st is Argonoxy, Maha Vajra set and Sonic Machine Guns. Rockets suit Indra's ability and they are good for regular robots but not great in dealing with titans especially with defensive setups. Maha Vajra set delivers tremendous damage per shot but only at ultra close range and they have slow orbital support charge rate. Sonic weapons, despite their last nerf, they deliver tremendous unrepairable damage while filling orbital support relatively fast. Alright, that's about it for now. I hope you enjoyed and found this guide helpful. Before we end, I hope 2024 will have many great surprises and experiences waiting for all of us. Hoping the best for everyone. Alright, for now, take care and I'll see you next time.